Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have the second Japanese whiskey from the Shinshu Mars distillery. And it's called the Mars Maltage Cosmo. Yeah, the distillery I've told in the first video, beautiful distillery. There is a video on our channel with the Shinshu Mars distillery. Just have a look for it and have a look at it. Beautiful distillery. If you ever go to that distillery, you should uh, go through straight through the distillery as well when you do have done the tour. Um, there's a few bushes. I think it has a little like a little hump there as well, and you will make it straight uh, to a big, big, big river. And it's one of these mountainous rivers which is like really flowing down a lot of stones. It's you can see the the riverbed and it's all made of stone and there are like cliffs uh, where the, the water is falling down and it's really loud and you can feel the mist and when you're there in summer something like May to I don't know late uh, September or something or October then it's really really hot in that that area and it's really really nice to just be near the river because it's uh, such a uh, a nice mountainous view in all directions and refreshing atmosphere there. So yeah, let's come back to that one. If you'd like to know more about it, go to the uh, distillery video. You will find everything. And they say it's Mars Maltage Cosmo, a blended malt whiskey. If you go with the definition of Scotch whiskey, it would not be a blended malt whiskey. It would be a single malt whiskey. And they have a bit of a different view on blend and that kind of stuff. When they talk about blend, they more talk about whiskey that is blended in the distillery. So you have different casks blended together. So what they did is they took different malts, turned it into spirit, matured it and then blended it together. And that's why, when, why they call it a blended malt because they blended different malts together. But it comes still malt whiskey, it comes from one distillery, pot stills, so it should be a malt, single malt whiskey, but they call it blended. Um, the different malts, that's kind of the thing here at the, in the whiskey, malt selection, a malt, Mars maltage, and what they do is they use normal barley or normal, um, normal uh, malt, and they blend it, so normal malt would be Japanese malt or I don't know, Chinese malt or Asian malt. And they blend it together with Scottish malt, so internationally available Scottish malt. And that gives them a different edge, I suppose. Yeah, and let's have a try. It's a 43% ABV. 0.7 liter bottle and with in Germany uh, we sell it at around 50 50 and something around that area in euros um, and in the international market might be slightly more expensive where you live but I hope maybe maybe we are on the expensive end so around that um, it is less expensive than most of the Japanese whiskies because it's a bit, bit less well-known whiskey. With, with the Shinshu Mars whiskey, you will not go to your friends and say, hey, look, this Shinshu Mars, and they all go, oh, like, yeah. They, they all ask you, oh, what, what is that? Never heard of it. It's just because it's a laid back, medium, small, medium to small whiskey distillery in the mountains of Scotland, eh, Japan. <laughs> Ooh, it's very, very fruity, a lot of oxidized fruit, no fresh fruits in there, just oxidized fruits. A lot of a lot of sherry influence in there. Oh. Mm. Yeah, so it's really, really smells a bit sweet, but the the fruitiness is overwhelming with a little bit of nuttiness. So if you'd give me that in the blind tasting, I would probably say yeah all are also matured all the way but yeah blended whiskey they don't talk much about their cask so we really don't know where it has been matured and can't tell anything about that mm. 
Mmm. 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 It's oh, it's strong. So it has has a lot of flavor packed into it. A bit atypical for the Japanese whiskey. Japanese whiskey typically is well balanced, not very intense, normally tense. A lot of nuances in every direction, very balanced. This one is straightforward, carries the flavor, has some spiciness, good good amount of oak, mm, a lot of fruit in there, some sweetness, a little bit of honey, light oiliness. So it's yeah, it is balanced, but it's uh, intensely balanced, I would say. So it's mm, it's hard to pick out anything in specific. But you can see, ah, uh, yeah, you have the the big flavors are all present, except except the smoke. There's no smoke in it. Hmm. 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 With forty three percent alcohol, alcohol by volume, not too strong. Definitely not too weak, so it's some. Um, it's a good whiskey. If you'd like to to have some Japanese whiskey that is not that well known, then this might just be the thing for you. But be aware, it's not that typical for Japanese whiskey. Bit too intense for that. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, then please feel free to share it with your friends. And see you next time.